I'm going to read the diary of a wimpy kid. March, Sunday. I read that in ancient times they used to bury kings and pharaohs with all their possessions. Back then, I guess they thought you could take your things with you into the afterlife. Well, if I get buried with all my junk, I might really regret it later on. Mum said in me do some spring cleaning to get rid of the things I don't need. Well, that seemed like a good idea until I realized just how much stuff I've actually got. I spent the whole morning going through my closet and it's crazy how much was packed in there. And it's not like it was organized or anything. I've basically been throwing things in my closet since we first moved in. Digging through my closet was like going through my childhood. And the further back I went, the further back in time it took me. The stuff near the front of the closet was all junk I tossed in there over the past year, like homework, and comic books, but after I got those things out of the way, I started finding stuff I'd forgotten about. I found a model rocket I got for my 10th birthday and a costume I wore for Halloween a few years ago. And there was a bunch of other things I didn't even know I still had. When I dug a little deeper, I found something I thought I'd lost years ago. It was a binder full of stickers I'd collected in the third grade. I used to be obsessed with stickers, especially the scratch and sniff kind. I collected all the good smells, like bubble gum and candy floss and that sort of thing. But I had all the really gross ones too. So when I get on my street, wanted to know what giraffe poop or rotten meatloaf smelled like, they'd come to me. One of these days I'm going to write my autobiography and it's going to include scratch and sniff stickers to mark all the different moments in my life. And that's when I realized I had stepped in dog poop. Scratch here. I kept digging through my closet and found stuff from kindergarten, like a fish that I made by tracing my hand onto a piece of cardboard card. I used to love doing arts and crafts back then and if anyone ever tried to bully me about it they'd get a face full of glitter. Swoosh. Another project I found in my closet was a gift I made for my mum in preschool but never gave her. It was a paper flower with a picture of my face in the middle glued to a popsicle stick. When I made the thing, I put it in a little plant pot filled with earth. But I tripped on the front step when I got home from school that day and that's why I never gave it to her. I was glad that I finally reached the back of my closet but, to be honest, I was a little disappointed too. When I was younger, I read this book about these kids who could visit a whole different world by going through their wardrobe and I always wondered if I might be able to do the same with mine. But I thought that whoever lived on the other side might not be too happy with me for tossing all my junk in there over the years. When I told mom I was done emptying my closet today, she said, I needed to put everything into three piles, one to keep, one to donate and one to throw away. But I figured if I had to let go of any of my junk, I might as well make some money from it. So I decided to have a yard sale. Mum thought that was a great idea, so she gave me a magazine that had all sorts of tips on how to do it right. Family Frolic, throw an epic yard sale. 50 hot tips, P. 
class tricks.